Hey guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. I can finally speak with my full voice instead of having to whisper because I don't have anybody sleeping in the room next to me and I don't have to be afraid of disturbing them. So here's my problem. When we last left off, we saved this horse who was conveniently laying under a hammer that we will obviously use later. But here's my problem. If the person in the house is dead and that horse's nose is clipping through that plate, who in the heck is going to water it <coughs> another five days from now? I mean, yeah, that water will last for a little while, but who's going to take care of the horse? So, I just don't understand the whole point of this quest. <coughs> well, of this puzzle Not quest. I understand the quest. We're trying to find a dead guy and uh, find some kind of cult members, supposedly. But, wow. I just, I don't know, it looks like the water is standing up right there because of the shadow, but it's actually not. Okay, enough of that. So, yes, when we last left off, I got a hammer. I got a hammer! So, let's go beat some stuff. Let's actually do what we were meant to do, and... Well, obviously that body... Ooh, obviously that body was dragged in there. Or something was dragged. Maybe it was a... Maybe it was dragging a giant can of tomato sauce. It's not really blood. So, let's switch bodies back. That's just nasty. <clears throat> and I, I don't even want to know what that is. I, I don't, I don't want to know. Don't want to know. So. <coughs> Here you are, Watson. I don't. Okay. The body was dragged from behind this door. Even I can tell that. Can I unlock this door? Closed. Tight. Dude, it's closed on the other side. One of the sides have to open it. You fool. Usually the the lock is in the inside of the door. Oh well. Well, I guess, well yeah, I guess if he was dragging it, the footprints would look backwards. Because he's, you know, dragging it. Blood. More blood. Blah. Blah. That's funny, I can see out the window here, but I can't see in the window. Ooh, dead body. Dead body. Alright. Let's see. I think you have to find... Oh, you have to find... The body was dragged okay. from behind. Yes, okay, got that. You, you absolutely have to find all these location points. You have to. There we go. Let's go in here first. We'll look at the dead body later. You knew there was a dead body. I mean, come on. He was like, wow, something smells dead in here. Duh. Dead body. What am I supposed to click on? What am I supposed to click on? Huh. Is it? Aha. What's this? Someone placed <coughs> their hand near this footstep. Judging by the size of the fingers, it seems to be a youth. Why would they lean down here? Of course, to pick something up. That's right. Maybe his severed foot. It was a child. A child did it. Alright. So we know that there was a child that messed with some stuff. So... Let's go in this room, since it's right next to us. Kabbalah! Uh, ooh, bit. Yes, there is something here. Yes, Oh, um... Maybe, maybe I'm proud of... Yes, there is no, something no, here. No, not the right item. Maybe it's this? Yes, there is... Okay! I know that there's something there. Oh, come on. You mean a hammer could not move that. A stone of small size, but of splendid <laughs> color. It seems to have no flaws, and I doubt that it originated in the American continent. Alright. Let's look around the rest of the room. Arnson, with his servant, no doubt. Ah, so that's what Arnson looks like. Oh, hey. It's like, I'm, not I'm not clipping through the bed. That's funny. These clothes belong to a servant, and judging from their size, he is a small man. It's a midget. It's a midget. He left the lollipop guild seeking his fortune, and that is what happened. Can I pick up that paper? No. No. Is that it? I, 
guess that's it. Watch now, I'll end up coming back in here later. I mean, the ruby's the important thing, but, uh... <coughs> Curious, there are some muds that appears to have come from underneath the bed. Yes, it's, uh, sort of moved the bed before I discovered those, but it wasn't my fault. It wasn't. Was it my fault? <coughs> These footsteps indicate a person of small stature, and the fact that they are so closely set suggests they made their way with great stealth. Oh, it's a little ninja. This blood on the ground came from a deep wound. I cannot budge the handle. They must have lodged something behind it to hold fast the door. Shh, Watson, listen. Whoever you are, open up. We mean you no harm. Open the door, for God's sake. It's a matter of life or death. This is useless, Holmes. Watson, your sensibility is appreciated. We shall come back later. <laughs> come on, little ninja. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to look at you. All right, well, we've screwed around enough. <clears throat> Watson, what do you make of this? The man is dead. It has lain here for at least a week. On the contrary, Watson, once again you see, but fail to observe. The warmth of the local climate and the exceptional humidity undoubtedly sped up the rate of decomposition. Based upon my calculations, the body has been here for five days. Says he's better than a doctor. He was in the war and saw lots of dead bodies, I'm sure. So, Watson is an idiot because he should have known that, and... Holmes once again just proves that he's awesome. I like how that one part of the shoulder, the blood is, I guess that's blood, or it's a really poorly rendered shadow. It's really dark, and then the rest of it looks like someone sprayed finger paint all over him. It's like, ah, finger paint, that's awesome. This must be Anson. He appears fond of cigars. You're fond of tobacco pipes, so can't say much. Dirty nails. So let's take a looky look. Let's examine the hands. They are calloused, with traces of dirt under the nails. This would be the gardener, no doubt. Anything important? Oh, we just just killed the gardener in the living room with the candlestick. Oh, good. The fly smell, <coughs> fly smell, the fly sound is gone. I'm sure it smells though. Let's see now. Aha. Because what do we need when we're investigating? We need liquor. Champagne. Maybe this will satisfy that old man of the same name. You get old champagne, some champagne, and I tell you some stuff. Interesting. The person who sat here was fond of cigars. Him. Don't say the person. You already you already established that he is whatever. <coughs> okay. Let's investigate some more. Papers were burned and great care was taken to destroy everything of any value to our case. We will find nothing further in this place. Well, that's actually not true. Yeah, I guess he means in the fireplace. <coughs> not the whole place. Blood! Oh, nope. He was killed in the living room with the candle, candelabra. Um, yes. By some random person. Hold on. Sorry about that. I'm back. Had to go do laundry. Forgot all about it. Okay, so we checked the candelabra in the game of Clue. What do you make of this, Watson? What do you make of this, Holmes? I asked you first. Okay. They killed the man who was sitting there, and the trail of blood begins here. So this would be the body they dragged through the gate. Oh, okay, so I was actually mistaken. He is actually walking. Let's see. Uh, let me retrace it. So so he grabbed that, smacked him over the head, just, ah! and then he toppled over, so then he walked a circle around, kind of went backwards until he got to this point where he flipped the body and... Hold it. It doesn't make any sense. 
Not to me, anyway. Yeah, we already got that. Hmm. The person was struck with a sharp object as they entered. You can see the trail of blood that continues past the staircase. We already got the that. body was dragged from behind this door. But I think you have to do it in this order. Yay, let's go up some steps. <coughs> I think we're done there. It's the only part of this game I really dislike is you have to look at everything. Absolutely. If you do not, the story will not go any further. So, let's go in the first door. Because it's the first door that we see... You know, these are some of the most flimsy looking doorknobs, just the way they're shaped. It looks like they would just snap right off. <coughs> the snapper. Let's see. Oh, cool. We'll explore this room, then I gotta cut it off. I got lots of stuff to do today. But I'm trying to get all this stuff done earlier. A letter from El Lakofka. Lakofka. Dear Mr. Arneson. Arneson. It was a rare pleasure to encounter your extraordinary altruistic attitude towards your employee, Young Davy Few. Young Davy. Oh, sorry, I thought his last name was Few. Few would have made the effort to discover the truth of his affliction, and most would have discharged this boy from their service without hesitation. It is fortunate that Dr. Gall Callagher, who has expertise in these matters, is also your neighbor. Without his intervention... Yeah, intervention. It is doubtful that we would have been introduced and we would not have had answers about this young man that you have been seeking. First, I will tell you that Davy's problems are psychological rather than physical. As you have already noticed, he hears and understands perfectly well. A medical examination also revealed that his vocal organs are unimpaired. I guess they sliced his throat open. I don't know. The final diagnosis is that a psychological trauma or mental blockage is what prevents him from speaking, so he needs a good smack upside the head with a stick. As for your anecdote concerning the coins and discovery of incredible talent this young man seems to have for figures, it reminds me of similar child prodigy cases. I have requested their files from my colleagues and hope to learn more. All I can say now is that your employee has a phenomenal memory for figures and that an adapted teaching program could enable him to exploit his talent further and benefit his community. PR L. La Kafka. Okay. Yeah, I'm not the best reader in the world. <coughs> but I don't care. In this let's play, I just decided... Oh, have a look at these books. Should be something of interest among them. Okay. Alright, let's take a look, you see. Ah, a book on the fauna and flora of Louisiana. Alrighty. This book has been read often. Tales of Fantastic Hunts by D. Niles. No, well, it didn't say hunts. It said hunt. Tales of Fantastic Hunt. It's a fantastic hunt. That almost sounds bad. Ah, oh, there it is. I'm not going to read these. It just takes too long. The Raccoon. Uh, okay. And then, if I'm going too fast, just... Uh, Pause the video. African swallow. Oh, sorry. This thing's so finicky. Alright. And then... O dead octopus man. Okay. I might read that later, but I don't feel like reading that now. The letters, that's fine. This metal tube is approximately 40 centimeters in length and 18 in diameter. It bears a small <coughs> tag which reads, This one without defect. My sincere apologies, E. Otis. E. Otis. What he the devil are you doing, Holmes? I'm stealing crap from a dead man. Shut your face. Shut your cake hole. Okay. A newspaper from five days ago. Someone has torn the last page. Well, it seems Anson tried his hand at a small riddle in this newspaper. How strange. He does not seem the type to take interest in mathematical conundrums. Holmes! Here! Hey! What? 
Here you are, Watson. Okay, I'm not going to finish this now. I will finish it when we come back. I don't know why I triggered that. I guess because I picked up that page. Because it has the... Uh, well, I will show you the page. So... So there you go. So, I hope everybody's enjoyed this Let's Play video of... What do you make of this, Holmes? I don't know. So, I'll see you next time.